All right, for number three, the first thing you're going to want to do is mark the asymptote. So notice that this is the line where the graph turns and goes south, all right? And that is at x equals negative one, all right? So our function is going to look like x plus one inside the parentheses. That's called the argument. All right, now let's go over here and look down and see which ones have x plus one. Well, we see that c and d have x plus one, but this has x minus one, so that doesn't work. x minus one doesn't work. All right, so how do we tell which one of these is the right one? The next thing we do is look at the y-intercept. All right, there's the y-intercept right there, and it is zero minus three. All right, so that means that we have to put a zero. I'm going to switch to a lighter pen here so I can get those in here. All right, so we're going to change this x to a zero. All right, and we're going to change this x to a zero. And we're going to see if one of these is equal to minus three. All right, and so we have log two of zero plus one subtract three. And we're going to put that in our calculator. And the same thing with this one, log two of zero plus one plus three. Well, when I put this in my calculator, this one, if I, when I put this in my calculator, I get that the answer is minus three. When I put this one in my calculator, I get that the answer is three. All right. And we were looking for what we're we looking for, we're looking for an answer of minus three, and there's our answer of minus three. So that means C is our answer. So I had to do two things there. One, find the asymptote. That's one, find the asymptote. And then I had to two, find the Y-intercept.